Let's prepare on the TRB Polytechnic Exam 2017 Civil Engineering Question Paper. Question number 26. Bulking of sand is defined as the increase in the volume of sand due to moisture which keeps the sand particle support. So when we add water to the sand, it starts bulking due to the increase in volume. So the option C is the right answer. 27th question. Addition of fly ash or ground granulated blast furnace slag in the concrete composition may be taken into account with respect to what? So various factors are given here that is cement content, water cement ratio, water cement ratio alone, the aggregate and water cement ratio like this they have given. So if we want to add the fly ash to the concrete means we should be definitely knowing the cement content and also the water cement ratio then only we can know the quantity of cement to be added and with respect to that only we can allow the addition of fly ash instead of the cement so option a is the right answer here 28th question an rcc beam not provided with shear reinforcement may lead to failure in its bottom incline roughly to 30 degree to the horizontal. Option B is the answer. 29th question. The effective span of a simply supported slab. So for simply supported slab, there will be two conditions given. One is the distance between the center of the bearings, that is their supports. And another one is clear span plus the effective depth of the slab. So here you can write option A and also option C. Both are actually correct here. 30th question, the soil liquefaction may occur due to high shear strength of soil. So this is definitely a wrong answer because at the liquefaction state, the shear strength of the soil will be zero only. So the option B or C will be a confusion for us. So here the answer is both B and C. That is option D is the right answer. 31. In design of tension member, the length of the connection can be reduced by using lag angle. So this can be used here. 32nd question lateral torsion buckling will occur in here the answer is beams which are laterally unsupported so that only will have the lateral torsional buckling so option c is the right answer 33 the biaxial bending occurs in dash so actually it occurs in the purlin purlin is nothing but it is also a beam only which is supported in a trusses so it will be normally designed as considering it as the continuous or simply supported beam only. So it will be only having the biaxial bending. So here the option A is the right answer. Then 34. The anchor bolts to resist overturning moment are used in slab base when the column carries what type of load. So here this anchors must be used when it carries both that is axial load and also moment. So the option C is the right answer. Question number 35. The highway bridges shall not be considered to be carrying any live load when the wind velocity at deck level exceeds 130 km per hour. Option D. Thank you and keep watching for the continuation of this question answer discussion.